Hi guys, uh, Ryan from the Private Banking Forum. It's just a, a continuation of my, um, my live trading journal for this uh, swing position in crude oil. Um, as you can see, uh, we came in today and we opened gap gap up as expected. I talked about this yesterday. Um, how about I wanted to see this market um, reject this uh, uh, this um, balancing area we've developed and. Um, and see a break away from this area and um, this is what we've seen today happen and um, regards um, adding to my position here <coughs> I was um, going to try add um, at the open um, I mean we did have the point of control which we tested but I was looking for this 109.10 area and um, as a sort of open test drive but we never got there so I just never added to my position I mean this point of control was another great area but I just thought that we, this was a better area to um, to focus on, but um, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't really want to start pressing this too much now. I mean, um, I've already banked about 250 cent on this position already, and um, I'm 215 cent up on this uh, current core average. So, um, just uh, let I'm just going to try let this ride out. I mean, if we get a decent pullback today, then um, I might look to add to this position more. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'm just going to try and um, let this ride out for a minute. I mean, we've. Uh, We've clearly broken through this meters view up now, and we've come up to test uh, the development value area higher. And we've got this um, high volume node of volume here at about um, 109.90. So um, it'll be interesting to see if the market can come up and test this and try trade above this. Again, I'm looking for this market to come up and fill this volume in at about the 10 at the 112 in this um, spike high in the news from Syria and clean this high up. So this um, so longer term, I'm still holding this position. Um, to uh, to see if we can get up to this um to this location, but I mean on the on the other time frames we're looking uh, we're looking pretty good. I mean on a weekly perspective we've um we've broken out of this key uh, balancing area that we've um, I've been tracking and um and I've also got a uh, a larger bracket that um we've also uh, we're also sort of heading for a breakout of. So um see if we can end this week uh, on uh, very bullish and, um, and close out above these areas and uh, see if we can continue to see this uh, rally next week um, Time, to t uh, long time to tell here but you can clearly see sort of buying um, over the last few weeks on the on the weekly so I am expecting a, um, a nice uh, rally up possibly here um, just a couple other things I'm keeping a uh, um, an eye on is um, is uh, the quarterly VWAP, I mean, clearly see we're rejecting this quarterly VWAP now and gaining higher value. Uh, uh, higher value when we start to flatten out a little bit here, but I mean, um, if this market continues to push, then this VWAP will continue to rise and value will rise with it. So, just another thing I'm, I'm keep I'm tracking. And um, and last but least, um, I've been talking about this for quite a long time now. Um, regards to the the annual VWAP, I mean, we've just we've just been. Um, Floating around uh, last year's VWAP uh, value higher, and um, we're just seeing this break away from this again for the fourth, one, two, three, four, fifth time now. So I'm expecting a, um, a clean break and uh, and hopefully a nice move up here um, on the crude. So just time will tell. Just monitoring everything and um, just see how this uh, this plays out into the end of this week and uh, how we open up next week with. Um, regards the sentiment of the market but um great trade developing here so far and um i'll keep you posted on the rest of the day of uh of what i see and whether i decide to continue to play around my position today and add and scale out i mean um i've been looking at some other markets i mean es es looks like we're going to open gap up and we're going to open above the, um, the initial composite uh we've been building so be interesting to see what happens here. I might try establish a position on the ES today um, as a day as a on a, on the day time frame. Um, I've also been looking at the euro too. The euro has been pretty good the last two days with some good news coming out, moving this market with some volatility. There's a great setup on the euro yesterday. Um, I wasn't going to take, but I just didn't. <laughs> Basically, we had the ECB announcement yesterday, and this happened right on there. And um, great short to establish um, above the previous uh, high of day and uh, sort of there's no excess up here and we kind of one ticked a couple ticked above it and um, into this uh, great support area and it literally the market literally just um, just just rallied down uh, pretty hard to here and hit another support level on the on the 200 day uh, EMA uh, moving average um, 
on the high, on the daily time frames. But uh, I didn't take this trade, but it's a great, great, great setup. So I thought I'd highlight this. Anyway, um, I'll keep you posted on um, on what I do the rest of the day, and um, and I'll continue to uh, to narrate this um, this crude oil swing trade as we, as it continues to develop further, and what I'm looking into into the close today. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Okay, just a um, quick update here. It's uh, currently um, ten past twelve. Um, I've added to my position here. I'm only looking for a uh, fifteen and thirty tick scale out on this. Um, we've seen a sort of pullback to uh, RTH view app here and the top of a uh, anchored view app I have going from um, yesterday. And um, we're also at the the half standard stand deviation ETH view app. So I'm just looking for a um, a 15.30 tick scale out into uh, RTH um, value area high here. Um, see how things go um, on this. Um, not expecting uh, nothing too great at the minute, but um, we do have a pretty poor high here at the minute, which I'm expecting to sort of be cleared up into the close possibly and um, further rotations higher. Um, I'll keep you posted on um, on what I do here. Okay, finally scaled out on this ad. Um, I've got my 15 uh, 30 ticks um, into RTH uh, value area higher and ETH value area higher. Um, just going to add this to my thing now. I've already adjusted this, so my entry of the add, um, my core average now, which is at 90. Hold on. Um, my first scale out was 15, second scale out 30, so 45 on this. I've got 290 cent uh, banked and. Um, my stop on this I've moved to 108.70 now. Um, obviously I've got the, the new Midas VWAP off the lows now which I'm, I've anchored and um, so I'll probably be trailing my stop in the, beneath um, this Midas VWAP at um, logical locations now. Um, anyway, um, that won't be uh, that I won't be adding any more to this um, today now. Uh, see what happens into the close and I'll update this uh, as I go as we go into the weekend um, I'm planning to hold this through the weekend now and um, I'll let you know what happens keep posted okay, just a quick update um, going into uh, the cruise pit close and um, it's currently uh, about two minutes away from the RTH session close um, so you've just seen this crew sort of uh, out of balance and um, clear and balanced to the buy side today with um, this gap up um, overnight and for away from this uh, composite we were tracking I mean we've come up and tested the RTH session levels to the tick I mean we've just come and pretty much uh, closed out this excess that we had from the RTH highs um, obviously like I said we've still got a lot of work to do to the upside regards to the, um, the levels that got put in in the Globex session you can sort of clearly see this uh, this spike level holding at the top of this sort of composite at the minute with this um, very low volume excess up here so if when we do sort of move through this area, I'm expecting it to move quite fast through this um this 111 uh, to 112 dollars a barrel area. If we see this uh, market continue to auction higher, we've got a pretty strong um pretty strong close today. They're still buying it into close and rejecting value and um, showing a clear out of balance market at the minute. So I mean what I mean I've just Let's do a small bit of commentary. Like I said, I've banked about 290 um, ticks on this um, position now, and um, I'm currently 260 uh, cent in on my core average um, from uh, where I got long, and obviously I've been adding to this position and scaling back out again. So um, brilliant trade so far, and um, what I'll do is a bit later I'll uh, I'll end this video into the globe it's close maybe, and um, I'll tell you some thoughts and ideas uh, going into next week and. Um, some more sort of top down analysis anyway keep you posted okay I've just um, decided to uh, wrap this video up now um, I mean what, I'll, what I'm going to do over the weekend is um, I'm going to add to my journal like a step by step uh, process of what I've done on this trade and I'll document it step by step um, in a bit more detail so um, if you, for, the, for the, those of you on the forum just um, go on to my journal over the weekend and um, I'll try and update this uh, regards going into next week, I'll update um, my plan of action um, Sunday night uh, in the Sunday night homework section on the forum. Um, just sort of highlighting what I'm thinking and um, how I'm going to uh, tackle next week. Um, I mean, regards to target on this, uh, at the minute I'm just going to uh, play it by ear and see how this um, how this uh, meters view app develops going into next week, and obviously what happens in the news with Syria and. Um, 
and just how we react up here at these these higher level. So uh, just um, like I said, a great trade going here, and um, we'll uh, see how where this can go next week. Anyway, um, any questions, um, can you please ask me on the forum, and um, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Cheers, take care, bye.